sweet. Very impressed with the little small amount of time that what you all are writing. In the Westview High School ethnic literature class, students took turns reading poems about their personal identities to the class. The assignment was part of a larger unit where the students explored and analyzed identities in different cultures, histories, and stories. I actually discussed um, something that's been happening in my personal life that has made a big impact on my life and just being able to analyze that and how that connects to my growth today, I think I wouldn't have been able to learn that in any other class that I've taken. I think it's amazing that we have created a safe space in Miss Wu's classroom for us to be able to share our identities and our experiences. This should be the normal. Like, we should already have safe spaces for everyone. Ethnic literature is a new senior level optional English class where students are exposed to literature by and about people of color and learn about how the stories relate to them. The way that these students um, are engaging with the different units and the texts, they are thirsty for it. They're showing me that they are ready for it. They want to tackle these issues. And I think sometimes as adults, we just need to you know, show them the way and get out of the way and let them be able to engage in these texts and controversial issues. Controversy has surrounded the topic of ethnic literature and ethnic studies courses due to some concerns and misinformation about the curriculum. Really tough uh, situations. So in Poway High School's ethnic studies class, they are less focused on controversy and more focused on offering diverse history. Not everybody is in agreement with the class being taught, but um, I do hope that people give it a chance and that people come at um, it with an open mind to learn about the class because I know a lot of students are very interested in the class and it's, um, I think it's, it brings some important perspectives. I don't know anything about my history, Chicano, um, culture and taking this class I really think maybe I get to learn a little bit more about my history. These courses are brought forward as a first reading and are part of our effort to address the educational aspect of addressing racism. The Poway Unified School District Board of Education felt that the most important perspectives to consider when approving these classes were the voices of the students who would be taking them. So last year when Black and PUSD sort of showcased the experiences of people of color and how they are experiencing racism in schools. And one of the things that they advocated for was ethnic studies and ethnic lit classes. And the beautiful thing is that they voiced their, their need and PUSD heard their call and answered it. The ultimate goal of these classes is to meet PUSD's vision of empowering world-class learners. I think we'll benefit from this in the future because it's really important to know the history that we've gone through and what marginalized groups have experienced so that history does not repeat itself. What we're seeing outside in the world right now is people not being able to um, have a conversation, have that cognitive dissonance with respect. And with this class, I feel our students are learning how to learn about each other's cultures and make the world a better place. How many of you found out? For the Excellence in Education series, I'm Nathaniel Farzan, Studio 701.